Hurricane Irma. Hurricane Irma. Hurricane Irma. Hurricane Irma. Irma. That monster hurricane, the strongest ever on record. The hurricane Irma appears to have arrived. The most powerful Atlantic hurricane ever seen. Ever seen. So we're being told that Category 5 Hurricane Irma is just barreling towards Florida right now, which, I mean, if you name a storm Irma, of course it's going to try to retire in Florida. Are we surprised? No. I need to go supply shopping. I need three days of water, three days of food. Pretty much the gist. That's what you need for survival, I guess. We're supposed to wait this out for 72 hours, so we're gonna go try to find supplies. And I thought, what better time to start having adventures into the unnecessary than to vlog survival shopping? Oh yeah, and a hurricane. So I've decided to try my luck first at Publix, see if we can find some water and some food. So we'll see how that goes. How about some canned goods? I don't think we're getting any canned goods. Publix number one was a bust. Let's try another one. So I decided to try my luck at a Walmart because, well, I need supplies. And when has Walmart ever let anyone down? Oh <laughs> wait, <laughs> everyone who's ever shopped at one. Okay, I'm over here looking for canned goods here in Walmart and it looks like we've got some really, really good options here. We've got uh, clam chowder. And if we come down here, uh, we actually have more clam chowder. Let's get some bread. There's just so many options for bread, I just don't even know what to pick. Behind me is where the water should be. Clearly there isn't any. So far so good. So I'm here at an Aldi food market. You know, I don't honestly have high hopes, but I legit love Aldi, so it's like worth a shot. But I, I don't have high hopes. Oh, yep, this is looking very promising. This was once where bread was held, and now it's just empty, sad shelves, like my heart. Oh, but there's still mushrooms. Well, unfortunately, uh, all these is uh, about as stocked as everywhere else, which is not at all for the stuff that we need. So uh, I'm gonna keep looking. Well, as almost as soon as I got here, I'm leaving uh, because there's no water, the shells are barren, and there's no canned food that's really non-perishable that I should be buying. Just getting home. To recap, I guess, you know, we went to five stores and none of them had water. None of them had canned food that would have been good non-perishable food to have during a hurricane. Unless you love eating clam chowder cold, which I don't. And neither does most of Florida, it appears. Not gonna lie, a little bit discouraging, but I could try to travel more stores further out, but I feel like at a certain point, I'm just wasting a lot of precious gas. Gonna end up filling some pitchers with water and go off the non-perishables that I have. We should be set, we should be all Good. It is Friday, September 8th at around uh, 5 a.m. Please ignore the extreme paleness of my arms and pretty much my entire body, but there's a reason for it. It's a survival technique because you know what? Guess who can signal for safety services? These guns. You flash those in the sunlight, everybody's finding us. Anyway, I recently found out that uh, for work, uh, me and my team are being activated to help run a ride out shelter in the community. So we'll be helping out students and things like that to, uh, you know, if they want to ride out the storm, they'll have a place to go and a little bit more of a secure location. Well, I'm gonna go get my run on and uh, see ya. I look absolutely disgusting and I, st <clears throat> nope, don't do that. That was, that was a bad idea. That was a terrible idea. I just wanted to comment on how calm it is. You would never think that there's this huge storm headed towards you that could potentially break windows, could cause real damage to buildings, move cars. And I'm not saying that we're gonna get impacted like that, not at all, but I'm just saying it's crazy that that's a possibility and it's so calm. Like when you didn't have radar and you didn't have meteorologists really, like you would never know. It would just come out of nowhere. You'd think, oh, it's a thunderstorm. And then it would just <laughs> buy cabin, not that we used cabins here in Florida. Check me for historical accuracy. Me as a Midwesterner, which is where I'm from, I'm from Kansas, we get tornadoes. If I had to choose between hurricanes and tornadoes having lived through, well, about to live through two hurricanes, hopefully, in case I, I die. 
But it's the, the issue is, is that tornadoes to me feel fast. We don't get any warning and that is terrifying. So it just kind of shows up. We do what we can. We pray that our house doesn't get destroyed and it's over and we deal with the aftermath. But with hurricanes, there's so much preparation. We know days in advance and it, it's just slow and agonizing because you have no idea what the actual impact is and you just have days to worry about family, friends, your stuff, what's going to happen to your car. And, and it's nice that you can prepare, but at a certain level, there's nothing you can do. At a certain point, it's like I can park my car in a garage, but I can't control what happens in that garage. Is the car parked next to me going to blow into my car and cause damage? I don't know. And so there's only so much preparation, but you sit there and you have time to think about every single thing that could possibly happen. And it's just, it's rough, man. It's really rough. If you've never been through a hurricane, like, like psychologically, it takes a toll even before the storm gets here. And then it comes and it just, I'm nervous, guys. I'll be 100% honest. It's about eight-ish in the morning on Saturday, September 9th, 2017. One day until Irma is supposed to make impact in Florida. Now what I gotta do this morning, because like I said, I'm being called into the shelter today to start opening the shelter, getting it running for everyone who's gonna be riding out uh, tomorrow. So what I need to do this morning is uh, hurricane prep my apartment. So what I've done so far is I've taken down my home theater and everything and moved my TV and everything out of the way and moved all of my furniture and rolled my carpet up. So my biggest concern while hurricane prepping was this puppy right here. It's a single pane sliding door that takes up, you know, a good couple feet of my wall leading to the outside, leading to a balcony. So if anything were to break, it'd be this probably. And that would have impacted my TV and my rug and furniture and so on and so forth. So this is a big structural concern and uh, probably the weakest point in my apartment for hurricane weather. Okay, so I got everything in the studio packed up as well. So I went through and I took everything down. So hopefully the studio is hurricane prepped as well. So what's next is for me to make sure I've got everything packed for the shelter so that my staff and I can run the ride out and got to remember that there's not going to be any showers or anything like that. So uh, we've got all kinds of stuff here. We've got toiletries. Those are super important. You know, you got to make sure you have your deodorant and stuff in a no shower situation. Oh, and uh, vitamins, you know, so I get my my daily dose of vitamin C because you know I don't want scurvy during the hurricane. What? Do you see me sailing the seven seas? I don't know how scurvy works. OK, I just know I don't want it. So I'm, I'm bringing vitamins. I've got a wireless Bluetooth speaker over there. I've got a couple days of clothing here all there in my backpack over over there we have nothing but homework and books because you know nothing says do homework like an impending hurricane so now all that's left now that we've got everything packed up good to go time to go to the shelter